Hi, welcome to another video from Dr. Lock. We're going to show you the Lockwood 001, how to convert it from a standard key into a high security multi lock key, which we sell on our website. We're going to take you through the outside rim cylinder, and then we're also going to take you through the inside cylinder. Uh, most times it's not needed to do the inside cylinder, but um, we're going to take you through and show you how to do it if you want it. It is half the price if you leave the inside one as standard but then you won't be able to double lock your door. Double locking is only good to make the inside part of the lock solid so that way if anyone breaks in through a window they have to leave through a window as well rather than walk out your front door. So that's what double locking is all about. This is a lock with 001. Um, this is just an old one we had just to quickly explain this to you. Now when you purchase this cylinder here it comes with a card and two keys. This one here um, is just one that uh, Basically, it doesn't have a card, but we're going to show you exactly how to install it. It comes with some screws as well. Um, you don't really need to use that. The plate as well, you don't need to use. A lot of the times, you get uh, screws with cylinders, and I'll just show you the difference here. This one is just for a standard type cylinder um, for like a night latch. You wouldn't use that on a 001 because of the head. It's too large. This is the correct one for a Lockwood uh, 001 or uh, Lockwood 002 or 355 or 303 it's got the slightly smaller head and doesn't protrude um, doesn't protrude at all that way uh, when the lock is working it doesn't catch on the actual screw now these screws are standard from Lockwood they are compatible with the cylinders as well you simply just screw them in exact same thread no problems there so when you are converting one of these into a high security lock uh, simply just use the standard screws so the first thing you would do is when you've got your lock on the door is undo these two screws turn the lock off like that pull it towards you and slide it slide the back housing off right now you'll be looking at a plate with two screws so you'll be looking at this lock here there's a metal part that's around here you need to put the key in turn it through uh, 180 degrees and then remove it don't break it put the key in turn it 180 and then remove it You'll be left with two screws on the on the door holding this original cylinder in. Simply remove those both those screws, remove the cylinder, put the new cylinder in from the front, and tighten it up. Once you'll notice, you'll uh, once you've done that, you'll actually have this tail piece protruding. You need to cut this down, leaving about uh, eight mil from the plate from the plate up high. You'd leave about eight mil. Then you would put the key in, turn it 180 degrees on the new cylinder, put your die cast um, round circular part back on there, turn the key and remove it. That means that that will then be, the die cast hub will then be locked in, into position. So I'm just giving you a rough example on this one. So now you'd be looking at the door with your die cast part. Sorry, I don't have the die cast part with me to show you. Uh, then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be changing the inside cylinder as well. Now this part is already done. Okay, so now we're going to look at the inside of the cylinder. Uh, we're going to look at uh, installing this part here in the back housing here. So first thing we need to do is uh, remove these two screws here. Now there's a few different models of this uh, Lockwood 001 with this particular shape here. This one is the more recent one with the indicator light on the back of it. Uh, going through a few experiments, we found the one without the indicator light does not actually uh, does not actually fit. You need to uh, knurl out the housing about a millimeter or two to get this tool to work. Still can be done, but we're talking about the more recent one. So I've taken this plate off here, taken the two screws off. This is an old lock here, uh, the bolt is actually broken, but that's no big deal, it still simulates it. Here's a working bolt, we'll use that when we put it back. Removing the spring from here, removing the dead latching function from here. Now we're going to take these four screws out. One, two, three. Once this is installed in this lock, this lock will be uh, a lot stronger and uh, protect you against lock picking, lock bumping. So basically we're taking a good lock and putting a, 
an even better cylinder into it. The, this plate here removed, removing this housing here with this spring loaded spring on it removed. Here is our switch here that does the lock, well the green and the red. Now there is a spring here, just be very careful of it, removing it out there. Here's our new cylinder here, just going to check if that fits and that fits straight in there. So the older models needed to be knurled out but the newer models don't. So if you have a newer model it's a simple conversion that you can actually do yourself and this is the whole point of the video. I'm going to put this lock up here on an angle so I don't lose anything. Um, that's our old cylinder. So we need to remove the tail off the back of that. Now this is spring loaded here if you can see it spring loaded here. Okay so I'm just going to carefully take two screws off the back. Another good way to identify which model you have as well is this plate that I'm now removing now. If you see the shape of it, see how it's got the indent there and the indent there? That allows you to know that it's a more modern model of lock. This Lockwood 001 has been out there for quite some time. Now I'm just going to put this housing and cam and all the rest back on the new multi-lock cylinder making sure I don't lose the screw and also making sure I line it up properly swing that around to there swing that on there There we go, a little bit hard to line up, but it just takes a little bit of patience to make sure it's all working properly. Okay, so as you can see now, I'm just tightening up these two screws here. Sorry about the camera action, it's very hard to do this and show you at the same time. Doing these two up tight. Now checking that the spring hasn't been lost in here, and checking that that is still spring loaded, that's quite important. Now here's our lock, um, don't get nervous, it will all go back together. So we're going to turn this back in this direction, push our brass lock-ins out of the way, putting our cylinder in. Now there's a spring here, we're going to spring that, and I'll show you where it goes in a minute. Okay, so it goes from this point here to over here, that's the black spring that's included there making sure this is in, pushed in, everything's there, yes just clean this up a little bit here taking out the spring here putting this hub over the top make sure it's in place okay, now I'm going to put this spring back in here this is the spring to keep the door open, so when you turn it one side it stays open. This is why. Now this plate over the top. Now take note the spring has to be sitting here and here so you might need to lift this um, handle or push this handle in just a little bit until you get the spring over the top of it. Let's remove it again. Okay if you can see that like so. Probably should have done that first, but it's okay. Putting these parts back in. Putting this part, the spring back in. Spring is back in here now. Oh, just redid it. Bring this back over the top, making sure it's in position. Turn the screws up just by hand initially, just to make sure they are in the right spot and they're threading into the into the thing and not cross threading. Seem to have lost a screw here somewhere. Oh, there it is.
So once this is all done, I'll uh, give you a quick run through on uh, how it's going to work and how it should look. So if you have a Lockwood 002, of course it doesn't have the inside cylinder, so you won't have to worry about any of this. Okay, so here is our dead latching function. We want the spring to be in between, so we're putting that in, sliding it back. Oh, the spring has jumped out. I'll give you a close look on how it should look there. If you can see that black spring there sits over the top, and in the middle there. So this part here is actually spring loaded. You should feel spring spring loading there. Now the replacement bolt. The way this goes is if you can see the shape there so it's like a top of the ramp at the back, bottom of the ramp down the front. That should go in there and just slide backwards and forwards. Yep, everything's moving around on me here. Push that there making sure I'm picking up that little uh, dead latching spring on the side and reinstall that and of course that pops out as well okay in it goes testing it, yep, it's in position, yep putting this over the top, yep, that's done now this spring here is to push here like that so what I'll do is I'll start with the little leg first and then just clip it up underneath there, as you can see. Okay, this part here, just working with our dead latching. I put that over the top. Tighten that back into the position. We'll go through all the functions of the lock, make sure that everything is still working. Dead latching including, auto release including. Okay, so here we have it, um, a 001 with the multi-lock installed in it. First thing for the test is the hole back, which is that black spring, that's working perfectly. Next part, we're going to test if it goes around to the red section, which it does. Then by pushing this little triangle here, it's going to release it, go to the green section. That works fine. Test it once more. Inside handle is locked, yes. Now outside cylinder, testing that, and of course this will be mounted onto the plate through here, and when you turn the key it will be operating this round black circle there. So once you've completed uh, the front part, the back part, you simply turn this back like this, put it together, and make sure you slide it back. If you can see the gap here, uh, it needs to be all the way forward and these screws need to be tight. If it's only about halfway, or if it's not all the way completely sunk in, this lock can actually jam. That's just one of the designs with the Lockwood 001. So make sure that uh, once you put it on the door, you slide it all the way back, and it goes all the way home to the right position. So there you have it there, a 001 converted into a multi-lock high security um, key system. The high security key is now working on this Lockwood 001. You don't need to replace a lock. It's an upgrade that most people can do if they've got a bit of time or if they want to watch this video and, um, and take it slow, you should be able to do it. But the benefit is now that this lock cannot be picked, cannot be bumped, um, cannot be manipulated. It's an extremely high security key system that we've installed into a standard 001, which is a very common lock. For further information, please email us. Uh, the parts are available on our website. And thanks for watching.